Okay, hi everyone. Hi, dear colleagues. Um, my name is Sergey, and I'm working on Linux system roles. And uh, in modern words, uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion became a main topic and a focus. And uh, because it's important for all of us to feel comfortable on the projects that we work on, and the projects that we use and we participate in. And one of the parts of uh, this is conscious language, uh, which is about using words that are rather inclusive rather than exclusive. And uh, in Linux system roles, we uh, started using a tool that is called Woke to detect a uh, language that is not inclusive in our code. Uh, so today I will cover uh, first of all why this initiative is important and uh, then we'll switch to technical part about the woke tool itself and its features, about uh, the GitHub action that exists there uh, with woke and then about some caveats that uh, we had working with woke and how we worked around them and uh, yeah after this we'll have some q and a section um, so uh, software uh, often carries uh, offers, often uses some words that uh, carry a great deal of emotional and historical baggage and uh, to be truly inclusive and uh, welcoming uh, we should try to avoid the use of words that uh, can carry these unintended second meeting meanings uh, just to welcome all the participants and uh, just to not limit the number of participants that we might have uh, so that's the first reason and the second reason is for those who use language as their who use English as their second language it may be uh, problematic to translate those idioms and uh, now let's move to the woke tool so here I describe the pictures that it has so uh, it uh, finds and uh, uh, inclusive uh, non it finds non-inclusive terms in your code in uh, file names and uh, in the content of files themselves it also suggests alternatives that you may use uh, and uh, it has uh, some configuration that you can apply for example to uh, uh, identify the words that you want to mark as warnings words that you want to mark as errors and uh, also you can choose what paths you want to search on uh, so yeah, here you can see the example of the GitHub action that exists there that enables you to run woke on every PR in your GitHub repo to identify if this PR does not introduce any non-inclusive terms in it. So it's, yeah, it's pre pretty simple. And uh, here I have a slide demonstrating how this tool works. So it sees that there is a non-inclusive term in your code and uh, uh, it has this uh, pretty feature that prints uh, uh, the exact place where this occurs and also prints uh, the terms that you can use instead if you wish and in this case this is marked not as an error but as a warning and uh, as for the caveats that uh, the reason this tool so uh, in my project we needed to mark some words as errors to strictly fail on them and some words as warnings and currently the tool fails both on warning and errors and uh, we needed to change this so we made this change to the code to the code and submitted this PR but unfortunately the second issue is that there is a lack of uh, uh, attention from the developer from the initial developer of this tool uh, so hopefully the developers will return and uh, continue the work but for now we did the following thing. we uh, created a clone 
kind of forked uh, the project into our local uh, repos and uh, yeah and uh, just created a custom a custom action instead of the official one and here how it is how it looks you can see that uh, we are pointing to also to uh, our configuration file that we also customized for our needs and uh, yeah, instead of the official action we are using just the path where we copied it to and yeah that's pretty much it uh, from myself and uh, please if you have any questions yes please Uh, uh, sorry, could you repeat? I think I didn't catch it. Yeah, so uh, you're probably asking about GitHub Actions. Uh, GitHub Actions is an environment that GitHub provides uh, where you can use GitHub resources, uh, virtual machines and containers to run any test on your repository. So you can configure it to automatically run anything on uh, on special triggers. So for example, in our case, we are running the stool on every PR to check the content. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you, you can also run Vogue locally and uh, yeah, customize everything and just use it locally as well. Yes, please just continue and I will get to you. Uh, is there a plan to make the fork available if, say, the developer doesn't see actions sometime or something like that? Developers? Yeah, actually, the fork, it's uh, pretty, we just. Can you just repeat the question or like speak directly? Uh, yeah, I'm repeating the question. So the question was if we can make the fork available to everyone. And uh, the change that we did. It is currently publicly available in our GitHub, and it's uh, actually pretty small, and it's not actually the full fork, but we just copied the code to uh, our repo. So officially, it's not a fork. And uh, yeah, so in the next slide, by the way, I have a reference section where uh, I'm, yeah, I'm linking to this, to this fork that we did, and uh, also linking to some other things that I talked about today. Uh, yes, thank you. Please. I have just a question. Uh, when you mentioned that the, the book action actually detects and includes words, but what if those words are part of the documentation of specific tooling that's, that cannot be changed? And is there like a way to like ignore, uh, tell Wolf to ignore this because there is this, but we cannot change it because of this tool that tell providers? Yeah. So to repeat the question for the audience, uh, is it possible to ignore uh, work on some particular lines because sometimes, and this is the case with our project as well, we are uh, working on many subsystems that just use the non-inclusive terms and we cannot use them in our project because we're just automating what is there already. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so first of all, uh, in our configuration file, we marked some often oftenly used terms as warnings and uh, did this change to not fail on them. And also, uh, you can uh, ignore uh, separate files in the config file, or also in the file, you can ignore a separate line by appending a comment uh, above it or, or to the right of it to say woke. I think it's woke ignore and the name of the rule that you are ignoring. So yeah, it is supported. Yes, please. So on a similar token, in some cases, the word that might be unlawful in terms of inclusivity is key for the functionality of the code, right? And I'm guessing that still remains to be just handpicked manually Well, yeah, that's the work. Yeah, the, the question is about 
um, that sometimes, again, you have terms that you cannot change because they are part of some other underlying project that you don't have like authority to uh, interrupt and uh, what are the ways around it. And uh, yeah, so in our case, we, need to, we needed to do this work and to just run woke on every repository that we uh, uh, do support. And we like, have, we like about 20 of them. And uh, of course, uh, some of the terms could be replaced because uh, we are using them only in the repo and some of the terms uh, come from the underlying project. Some, for example, uh, some, the name of the main database is the master database in Microsoft SQL Server and uh, uh, Microsoft, I doubt that they are going to change it in the uh, foreseeable future. So yeah, that's something that we need to live with and yeah, in this case, we just need to ignore this word either in the config file or uh, on the line itself. Any more questions, please? Okay, if not, uh, thanks a lot for your attention. Again, uh, uh, I think you will get the link to the slides and the slides I have the reference section where you can click through the things I talked about and uh, have some uh, look at them. Thanks a lot. <laughs>